like when I think how much I love sugar or like how much I love climbing or how much I love whatever else, like things that I'm really into, I'm sort of like, I definitely should not <laughs> be excited about things that impair my judgment like that. This is Climbing Gold. I feel like now more than ever, there's like so much information about dieting and there's so many different types of um, diets, basically. Um, how have you approached that through the years? Like, have you been pretty consistent about like how you eat? And obviously you, you don't eat meat. That's been a long time part of your routine. How, how do I think about diet? Yeah. I mean, so, so actually, I mean, I kind of, I have been eating a little meat right now, but, um, but I'm, I've been basically vegetarian for, uh, I don't know, 10, 15 years or something, a long time. Mm -hmm. But actually, I think a better way to say it is that I've always been sort of mindful of environmental impact of diet, so trying to minimize meat and dairy. Um, though never too serious about it, because uh, with expeditions and with travel, often it's just easier to eat whatever's available than to than to stress any particular dietary constraint. Um, I mean, I'd say I try to eat relatively well, though uh, I've always had a bit of a sweet tooth, and you know, it's hard to hard to eat well all the time. Mm -hmm. But uh, but I don't know. Actually, randomly, I, I didn't tell you this, but um, I've been using a continuous glucose monitor for the last couple of weeks, or mm -hmm. last month and a half, maybe, just as sort of a personal experiment. Um, though I've already sort of discontinued the the thing, like uh, you know, as soon as my as soon as it's done, I'll be done with it. Mm -hmm. But I think it's a nice way to like learn a little bit and see, you know, to learn a little bit about how, the way you eat. Yeah, what did you find out? Um. Uh, I don't know. I found out that a lot of things that I think of as kind of healthy are still still really spike your blood sugar. And then some of the things that I think of as desserts don't spike my blood sugar, like dark chocolate of various kinds, like really does nothing to my blood sugar. And so it made me sort of think like, like one of the things that given me the biggest spike is just uh, straight grapes, like eating, mm -hmm. you know, green yeah. grapes. Yeah. And, and I think that I would often, or, you know, I, I previously would have thought of that as like, oh, I'm eating some fruit, like that's good for me. And now I'm a little more like, ah, maybe it's not the best for me as a standalone snack. You know, like it's probably better to snack on other sorts of things. Um, I don't know. We'll see if there are any like big takeaways. But I think that in the past, I've always kind of felt like I'm either on the program or off the program. Like either I'm eating dessert or I'm not, you know, like, mm -hmm. and it's kind of an all or nothing thing. And I think that, that I might wind up as a result of this being a little bit more nuanced about it where I just eat less or fewer things that spike my blood sugar and, but still have some treats now and again mm -hmm. that are relatively benign i mean we'll see did you get ice cream after el cap or something like that like is there something you're, like you're like oh hell yeah or like is there something that you're always like you go to no not, not really like i love cookies i love you know yeah like nice chocolate things like that um but no it's more like i can go six months without eating dessert and then once I start eating dessert again, it's like game on, you know, you're like, oh, there's some donuts. I should probably try one just to see if they're good. <laughs> yeah, they are good. Turns out. <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. The other thing that, you know, you've always, you've been pretty like open about like not having alcohol um, in your routine. Is that something you always did or is that something that? Um, yeah, I've, I've literally never had alcohol. Yeah period i mean i've taken a few sips of things over the years and like tried people's mixed drinks or whatever i just i just think it's gross and i've never yeah, yeah i've never like had a drink was it just the taste or was it just sort of unnecessary in terms of like the path you were following yeah it's a little bit of both i mean i don't like the taste i also i hate bubbles i hate carbonation so i don't drink like carbonated anything which sort of precludes beer right there mm -hmm. uh, and I think a lot of the stuff with the taste of alcohol, people, I don't think anybody really likes the taste of alcohol, but they kind of learn to like it through social situations or like through college or through whatever, you know, mm -hmm. they like develop a taste for it. And I just never really saw any need to develop a taste, mm -hmm. basically. But also part of it is because I kind of know myself like, like, I don't need to get into things that are bad for me because the things that I'm into, I'm really into. You know, yeah. it's like when I think how much I love eating a peanut M&M or something like that, I'm like... I definitely should not be that into something that, you know, leads to drunk driving and stuff like that. You know, like, I don't know, like when I think how much I love sugar or like how much I love climbing or how much I love whatever else, like things that I'm really into, I'm sort of like, I definitely should not be <laughs> excited about things that impair my judgment like that. Gotcha. Do you, and, and you do no caffeine, like you never, coffee? No, no, I think it's gross. It tastes gross. 
Yeah. But um, but I'll eat dark chocolate, and so you yeah. know that has caffeine. There's caffeine in it, totally. Yeah, and, and depending on where I am in the world, I have tea if that's like if that's more accessible than water in some places, and I don't really think about it. Yeah, it's just some things I just don't really care about. Yeah, people are like, oh, you don't drink, and I'm like, oh, I'll, I'll start eventually. Like I'm sure I'll get into it someday, and I'll drink too much red wine and make bad decisions, you know. <laughs> but I'm like, I just don't need to start doing that yet. <laughs> yeah. Avoid the red wine hangover. I'll tell you much. Mm. I can convey that that knowledge to you right now. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing is I don't know anyone who's like, my life is better because I drink. And because I don't like it to begin with, I'm like, why get into it? 